Hey guys, you're Marty Geek. In this video, I wanted to share another video for the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. And in this video, I wanted to share a very cool feature that I've been using since I actually started trying it out and I've been using it like every day. Um, and it's the Windows Link application or the Windows Link feature that the Galaxy Note devices have this year. Now, keep in mind, this feature is also compatible with other phones, but I believe um, this portion right here where you can actually see the screen of your phone, I think it's limited to this phone, I think, or it, it may be in, in beta on other phones. But here, I'm just going to show you guys on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. One thing that I really like is that in the notification center here, you're going to see an application uh, or notification toggle that says link to Windows. Like you see there, I tap right there and it completely disconnected right here, right? I'm going to go ahead and close this for now. And I'm going to go ahead and close this application for now, right? But the first time that you actually use this, right? The first time that you turn it on and start working on it, it's going to give you like instructions on how to download this application on your computer. Uh, of course, make sure your phone and your computer are actually logged into the same Wi-Fi network. Like for example, if you have a dual band Wi-Fi 2.4 G and 5.0 G, I recommend to have both of them on the same band. Uh, that way it can work a lot better and all the functions work flawlessly as well. Um, and that's all you have to do. Once the phone connects to the, um, the application companion Windows app on your Windows and you follow all the instructions, that's all you have to do. So from now on, for example, I, I normally now leave the link to Windows toggle. I just leave it on, right? I just leave it on because when I get home, and I start working on my laptop or on my computer because most of the times I have my computer um, connected to my monitor. My phone is usually somewhere else in the house. Sometimes it's near me, sometimes it's not. Sometimes, most of the times it's not as close. I like you see right here. This is just like that because of the purpose of the video. Okay, so the application is on, right? So what you wanna do here is um, open the Microsoft Companion app. Boom, automatically it's gonna be open to the application it's going to show your phone connected to it it's going to show you which phone is connected to it because like i said um this i use i did try this out with um the pixel 4xl back in the day months ago before it actually came out here on on the samsung and it worked perfectly good but the this feature right here with the application didn't work i don't know if if it might work now and the screen didn't also work the, the 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 function where you actually can see the screen of your phone that didn't also work but it might work right now but i'm doing this video because of the galaxy note right so let's go ahead and show you guys the things you could do here minimize this right here let's go ahead full screen so you guys can see a little bit better uh tap right there you can open this up um this right here you click right there and it shows you all the notifications that you have right here all the notification that you see right there uh, you're gonna see it right here and you can actually interact with them as well like for example if i want to open there's a news on flipboard i tap on it and it will automatically start uh, searching my phone boom and it should open flipboard there you go so they open the news to flipboard and like you see there it opened the application the phone completely there right so let's go and close that um here you could go ahead and clear everything and now i'll go ahead and clear my notification panel okay let's uh, there's a little lag right there but it should have let's see this should have cleared my notification panel yep it is totally clear right there so here you got messages so um in messages you're gonna see all the messages you have received i'm just gonna show you guys one that doesn't show my phone number or anything like that um here you can see the text messages received you got red box you got the phone number for red box you got the messages right there and of course here you can actually re reply to the messages you can use um emojis <laughs> right uh you can choose a message right here good and you could just go ahead and send it boom and it will go ahead and send the message. Of course, it's using the data from your phone. And that's it. It automatically, you see there, send the message. And I got a reply back from Redbox. That's pretty freaking awesome. Same thing goes with all the other contacts that you get. And that's it. It works everything just 
like it should right uh same thing goes with calls if you want to make a call from here you got the phone num phone button right here click right there and it'll automatically start calling that phone now that's uh, samsung let's go and cancel that and like you see there you can see the dialer popping up and everything so it's pretty damn cool right so here you go to photos here in photos you can see all the photos that you have on your phone and what's cool here is that you can tap on one of them right I could tap on one of them. I can copy. I can open. I can save as. I can. I can share. Uh, but one thing you can actually do is also drag things from your phone to the desktop, and then they will be saved on your desktop. That's so cool. And you could do it the other way around. For example, here I have this video, right? I have this video right here. I could go ahead and drag this video from the from the computer that i don't have over here right let's go ahead clap here again here let me see did it go through whoop oh for some reason it didn't let me uh, let's go to settings to see something it says cross device copy and paste allow this app to access and transfer content i copy and paste between my phone and pc always make sure you have this on so now let's go to apps here in apps uh, oh, you can also see the battery level of your phone right here. Click right there. Apps, you can see all the apps that you have installed and, uh, on the application. And what's cool is that you can actually launch the these applications. You could click on Amazon, and now you can go ahead over here, right? It opens up, uh, the application over here as well, but uh, the screen goes to black, right? Because it says link to Windows. It lets, it's letting you know that the phone is actually connected to uh, Windows. Um, here I have to unlock the phone. So right now, since I don't, let's say I don't have my uh, my phone available, I'm gonna have to use my code. So there you go. I got Amazon there application open. Now you see I can browse around like that, right? Really cool, really easily with using my mouse. And also what's cool is that if you have a screen like this, which is touchscreen, uh, you can actually navigate using your fingers as well. I see. Very cool. And I could go ahead and open another application here. And it opens over here. You know, and that's cool that you know, the touchscreen here actually um, uh, works over here as well. So that I really, really like. So like I could go all the way like that. I could go ahead and open the App Store with my fingers. And that's it. I could go ahead and close. Let's go and close that application and it's going to make this bigger and voila, just like that. That is really damn cool. I can open a YouTube. I could go ahead and watch a video. Like you want to, I want to watch a video here. Well, well guys, there you go. Miami, the Heat awesome. Click on close and that's it. Hey night. dude, beginning, close. <laughs> uh that is cool right there it's going up and up like that and that here you got calls so right here i could also make phone calls i can see uh the dialer right there i can see my contacts right here if i want to call gamestop right i got gamestop right here i can message them if i want it takes me to the message section or i could go ahead and uh, make a phone call i could go ahead and click right there make a phone call and it actually starts making the phone call what's cool is that you can also receive calls here see there you can listen it close it you can also receive calls and when, what's cool is that when you receive calls you get like a pop-up here on the computer like you can see here on the video and once you do that uh, you can start talking and it uses the microphone of the computer that is so cool so of course um, uh, like I said before also make sure that you go to settings and here in settings um, you toggle on and off the things that you want it to do and the things that you don't want it to do So here if I want to just open the screen or you have also have this option right here it says open phone screen Click right there and it opens the phone screen. If you click full screen It will just fill up the the this little screen with the with the phone Sometimes um, this right here opens up with the phone looking very small and black borders all around it Just make sure you hit here that way it will stretch out the phone to this screen right here. So make sure you actually do that. If it doesn't open completely 
uh, correctly so same thing over here if I want to unlock the phone I can unlock I can also use my fingerprints over here if I have my phone nearby and that's it so like I said if you have a touchscreen phone or, or T, uh, PC you could just navigate like that you touch in the screen and it's cool because um, um, the, th the way that I've been using it is I've been leaving this toggle, the toggle notification toggle, the link to Windows. I've been leaving it on all the time. So when I get home, I don't have to be um, um, toggling, putting on and off the phone, the app, the toggle. And when I turn on my computer, it automatically connects. And every time I get a notification or an email or a call, it automatically pops on my computer without me doing any extra steps. So far with the latest updates, it's, it's making it easier to use the phone and the computer connected one to each other without a lot of nuances. So that's something really cool that I like and I've been using a lot. I'm surprised that I'm using it a lot since I got this phone because uh, it's been working on like right now flawlessly. The only thing right now on this video that's not working it's weird because let me see again let me see if i drag this to the phone oh wait a second look at that copy wait okay wait a second wait a second wait a second so if i go here to photos and i tap right here you see the logo that it says no it cannot copy but when i stretch it over here now it says it can copy so if i tap right there look at that it transferred the video to the phone and if I go to over here to the phone and I go click right there, right? And I click over here and okay, let me see the video. Which one was it? I think it was this video, September 1st. Yep, there it is. Oh my God. Okay, I think there was an update then. Okay. Okay, guys, so I think there was an update that changed how it functions because I remember testing it a couple days ago and it would let me transfer videos from here to here to my gallery see this is my gallery of the phone and it would actually let me transfer files from here to here now it only lets me copy things from here to my desktop so if now so look at that we learned something here on the video so now if you want to transfer something from your computer to your phone just make sure you open the phone right you open the phone right here and now if we go if we go into the my let's go check look for a file let's go and look for a file which is uh, uh 301 megabyte okay let's go and click right here and now it let me okay so like you see there's transferring that was a big file 301 megabyte that video is actually not available here because that I, that I actually took with another video. So you see there it's transferring. And okay, okay. So we got to learn something here on video because I think this was changed. I think this was actually changed. So now it finished there. This was, click right there, open downloads. I can open downloads here and it should be somewhere here, which I... I have no idea where it is. It should be somewhere here. Was it that? I think it was, yeah, there it is. Yep, it was that. Nice, okay, and how big was that? Let me see. Da, 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 da. That was uh, 302 gigabytes in size. 302 gigabytes in size. So, there you have it, guys. Uh, you got to see how it works. Um, keep in mind you can use uh, the gestures features here on the phone right now since I'm using the gesture feature you don't see the buttons here in the bottom but if you're not using the bottom see in the bottom uh, you can always go ahead and activate it if that's the way you prefer it I prefer you to use it like this without the buttons in the bottom uh, but if you don't like that you could go ahead and change it uh, to change is very easy I go right here if I go to uh, display I go to gestures, right? Gestures, what is it? Gestures, navigation bar. Navigation bar, and I click the classic one and get out of here. And there it is. There it is. Okay. Um, no, I'm going to use the Microsoft uh, just once. And there it is. So if you want this, if you haven't changed 
if you haven't changed the navigation bar in the bottom, this is how it's going to look for you. See, this is how it's actually going to look for you. Double tap. It switches between applications. Back. Home button. Right now, I'm there's a, a, an options for Microsoft Launcher. Later, this is the Microsoft Launcher right there. You see there. Pretty really cool. Gonna click over there again. I could go and switch to the white Samsung, and that's it. So okay, not bad. I just wanted to share this video with you guys just to let you know that th this feature, link to Windows feature from Samsung to Windows, I've been using it a lot since day one, and I'm I'm liking it. I like how fluid it works. Like you saw there, you can actually transfer. Um, let's close all. Okay, closed everything there. Uh, you can actually transfer files from your PC to your phone. That's awesome. But of course, I think they actually made a change because I remember I using this feature and I was actually transferring files from my phone, right? I was actually transfer files from my computer to the desktop. And now for some reason, I guess it got updated. So now you have to for example if you want to transfer files from your desktop to your phone you actually have to open the phone screen so you have to open the phone screen and then you can transfer files from your desktop to your phone that's really cool okay guys so thanks for watching this video i just wanted to share this feature with you guys let me know in the comments uh, what you think about it. Honestly, I think it's pretty cool. Another thing, I don't know if this feature actually works with Apple MacBooks. I don't. I think it doesn't because they have a deal or partnership with uh, Windows. So um, I believe this doesn't work with MacBook. I don't know, but if you're using Bootcamp on MacBook, yes, you can use this feature if you're using Bootcamp. So other than that, guys, thanks for watching this video. Let me know what you think about linking your smartphone to Windows feature. Thanks for watching. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye.